Hi guys, how you doing? It's Sam from Walkgate Studios again. Uh, today I'm just going to do a little uh, two, kind of two-piece um, demo on water textures. I'm going to be using Vallejo water texture. This used to be called Still Water, which is this stuff. Exactly the same code, um, but they now call it water texture. So Still Water, which is really, really good for puddles and ponds and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm I'm going to be using uh, two other products, AK Interactive Puddles. This has actually got a little bit of, of colour to it. Um, so this is going to kind of turn it a little bit uh, interesting as well. Um, and then for people that, that want to know what the difference is, I'm actually going to be using some Vallejo uh, Gloss Varnish and see what finish that does on, on it as well, rather than actually using uh, these specific products. Um, for uh, puddles and, and ponds and stuff like that. Um, I just want to use this and show people how it's going to be doing. So I prepared three bases um, with some tufts and some flowers on, stuff like that, uh, three different colors. What, what I, how I actually built these, um, I ran a ring of uh, PVA glue around the edge of the base, um, covered that in, in dirt like my, I, I normally make my bases. Um, wait for that to dry and then give it a complete coat of paint um, and then, uh, uh, sorry, coat of paint, coat of PVA um, and then dip it into the sand again and it gives you a natural kind of bowl effect. So I'm going to be pouring into the middle of these in here to give me a bit of depth. It's probably going to be about an eighth of an inch up to the edge of, of these um, and I'm just going to have to make sure I don't overspill it. Um, and again, same with this one. I've just so that we can kind of tell the difference. I've given green flowers, purple flowers, and yellow flowers on this one. So you can kind of visually see the difference in all three of them. So without further ado, I'm just going to start um, with the uh, the pouring of the, the product. Um, these products, I wouldn't really pour any more than a, an eighth of an inch uh, at a time with these it does give you some options on kind of like putting some pigments in there and those sorts of things but um i think it's three the the european equivalent would be like three four five mil um or the american is is about an eighth of an inch so all i'm literally going to do is is pour some of this in here um and give this a good coat in here um, and you can use it. I do like my water texture kind of in um, the uh, kind of like bushes and those sorts of things just to give it an idea of being wet. Uh, there you go, you can kind of see how that's looking uh, there already. Um, it's about, I want to make sure I just cover everything. It's kind of gloopy, it's like like thick milk tech kind of texture to start with, um, but I'm gonna cover that. Uh, that's going to get dried. So that's the uh, Vallejo uh, water texture. That's going to be the green, uh, the green Ooh. one there. Uh, so we'll, get, we'll keep that one there. So Vallejo is going to be the green. Um, the AK Interactive Puddles. I'm going to give this a bit of a shake because this has got a pigment in it. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to use this in here and give this a coat of... Now, if you get the bubbles uh, in here straight away, like I'm getting here, uh, don't worry, you can actually uh, get rid of them quite quickly afterwards. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, um, so I've filled that up. That's good. This has got more of a dirty texture to it. And um, you can kind of see that it's got uh, a little bit more of a cloudy, pondy kind of type feel. There's, there is, uh, uh, bubbles in there so what I'm just going to do is quickly just grab a pin uh, and just give them a little pop because otherwise they're gonna, you're going to drop uh, dry with these you can also just get a heat gun and just give these a little bit of a heat which I'm probably going to do now bear with me a second I'll get the heat gun and show you how to get that out okay so the bubbles that are there, you can get rid of them pretty quick with just a heat gun. And then while it's warmish, 
you should still be able to give the bubbles a little bit of a pop and get rid of them. It's unusual uh, having the bubbles come out in this, this type of resin straight away. Um, but I'm gonna add a little bit more in there does seem the applicator to, to be putting a lot of air in there. Um, that's not, not particularly good. But uh, interesting, you know, I like coming up with these sorts of types of things. Um, I'm actually gonna use a paintbrush as well on this just to, just to see if I can get these bubbles out that have obviously got in here. There you go. Just working it. It seems a bit more of a pain in the ass. Now, this applicator on the AK Interactive, um, definitely putting me off using this one now uh, with all of the extra work. You can see that the clear water from Vallejo is no bubbles at all. Was application uh, free and uh, yeah, these bubbles are a real pain in the ass to get rid of. Um, I'm just going to kind of push them towards the, you know, obviously if you're going for bubbles uh, in there, then great. But I'm just going to be pushing these into some of the, uh, some of the, there we go. Yeah, that's got rid of most of the bubbles. So we'll see how that goes and see how that dries. So you can see the cloudy here. Um, and you can see the clear here. And then all I'm gonna use on the last one is just some varnish. This is gonna go on white and then dry clear. So I'll put this down and you'll see this is. This is probably the least cost effective way of doing it, but I just thought I'd do it and show you guys. Um, what the effects, the different effects are of this. Okay, cool. There's a few bubbles in there, which I'm gonna work, work out as well. But there's the three um, samples of, of different water effects. I'm just gonna move, there you go. Get rid of those, perfect, awesome. Okay, so there's the three samples. I'm gonna give these a good a few hours to dry and then we'll come back and have a quick look at them and we'll maybe apply a second coat uh, depending on how much they shrink down all of these resins do shrink a touch um so i'm not expecting them to be amazing first time but um we'll see how they go after they dry and come back i'll see you then Okay, so it's been 24 hours, giving these guys plenty of time to dry. Um, we're gonna go from uh, left to right here. This is the Vallejo Mecca Varnish. It's kind of just giving it really a wet finish, as you'd expect from a gloss varnish. Not much there. It's all right, you know, it looks wet, but it, it, there's no real coverage there. Um, so we're gonna put that there. Um, this is interesting, the Pond, um, the AK Puddles, this one here, Diorama Acrylic Puddles. It's an interesting finish. It's actually kind of dried, not as hard as I thought it would be. It's, it's, it's hard, but not rock hard finish after 24 hours. Um, this is finished all right. It looks kind of cool. It looks a bit murky and it, it would be something that I would definitely use, uh, maybe with other stuff. Um, on a diorama or on some bases to make it look like a muddy. You can kind of see through some of the rocks in there. It kind of just gives that, that hint of puddle. The only thing that disappointed me is you can kind of see on here, um, it didn't self-level. It, it's kind of very, very rocky. Uh, you know, obviously it just, it just formed to the rocks below. Um, so again, it would probably need another coat um on there uh, to kind of try and self-level everything out to make it look like water like a, a flat water surface 
Um, but it's not too bad. It's all right. It's something that I could definitely work with. Um, the one that I'm a bit most impressed with, the one that I like the most as well, um, is the Vallejo water texture. This thing um, has been fantastic. It looks great. There is some depth there. The only thing that's disappointing between uh, with this is the shrinkage of this. Um, I put on a good three mil and there's probably about one mil of coverage on this, maybe one and a half mil of coverage, which is about a sixteenth of an inch uh, when I actually put about an eighth of an inch on. So for me, it's disappointing because I've got to put at least another coat or, uh, you know, a coat or two, um, another layer of this on here um, for it to, to look decent. So I'm gonna do that now and give this another 24 hours. I'm also gonna put it on here, here as well um, to give this. Um, and on this one that, that we didn't really have anything with the, the gloss varnish, I'm actually gonna use a combo of both. I'm gonna use some water texture on there um, and a combo of both of these and see how that turns out um, and see, see what we can do with it. All right, so I'll uh, give these another 24 hours, put these on and then I'll be back. Okay, so uh, another coat has been added. Uh, this is the finish on the uh, still water or the Vallejo uh, Vallejo water texture. This is what it comes out like. Pretty good. There's a couple of little small bubbles in there, which actually don't look too bad. If you were going to be doing a pond or something like that, um, the little bubbles might actually look pretty, pretty good. Um, but the overall finish, pretty smooth. Not dead smooth but i didn't really expect that you might want to probably put another uh layer on top of that uh to to get it super smooth but it's good enough to make it look like it's water and you can kind of see there the texture um it doesn't look too bad at all um the next uh the next one we've got is the ak interactive um this again with the, with the textures doesn't look too bad you can kind of see on here where i actually topped it up a little bit the weird thing about this is this is a lot more kind of spongy this is uh it's not as hard the, the actual finish on this is a real like glassy hard the ak interactive is a little bit more i don't know it's, it's just a little a little bit softer there's just a little bit something there but it looks good I, I I can definitely see me using this on certain things, especially sort of like some 40K um, Krieg bases or something like that, where there's a lot of mud. The the funniest thing that I had was when we mixed in the last, in, in the, just uh, before this in the, in the video, we mixed the puddles and the water texture together. And actually I got some fantastic cracks in this of where the two products have met each other and cracked in there. Um, and again, I may well explore that for some sort of ice bases and those sorts of things um, going forward and seeing if uh, if these two can actually, with a bit of white pigment in here or uh, an AK puddle um, that's, that's clearer or something. I think AK do do a, a kind of like ice product. So I may well grab that and give that a little bit of a mix with the uh, Vallejo water texture to get this kind of crack in. But I kind of like it, looks pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now just to get rid of these cracks is fill it with the water texture and that will go away quite quickly and nicely. Um, if you ever do get that in your, on your on your bases, um, then yeah, you can fill these cracks and just put another layer of the, the water effect over the top. But again, this doesn't look too bad as well. Without those cracks, I, I kind of like like the, uh, the finish on it. But there we go. Uh, so that's three products, that's the Vallejo, this, the, the gloss varnish, meh, yeah, forget about that. But the two products that I used were these two, and they actually came out all right. I'm, I'm kind of uh, quite pleased with the way they, they, they came out, um, and I'm definitely gonna be using these going forward. My favorite, I think, is this, because I, I, the still water, purely because I like that clear finish. It looks like water. Um, but I can see me putting some pigments or something in it to give it a little bit more. This, for me, is just a little bit 
too much but for nice deep ponds or like necromunda bases where you've got like slime or sludge i think it's great i think it'll look really really good um but just general fantasy um and like water and those sorts of things a bit of blue maybe in this or, or just a little bit of a some sort of pigment in this uh, would be good but just overall yeah I'm, I'm super pleased with it so there's the three bases hope that gave you guys some ideas and uh please feel free to uh to like this video if you've enjoyed it and uh, if you want to see more videos like this please please subscribe um and i will see you again soon in another video cheers Thank you.